Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we have a DIY and some iced coffee. And I'm in my new space. We're gonna see how this works. I may shift around. We'll have to see how this all plays out. But if you can see, I had to set up my work desk behind me. I'm still organizing, so don't, don't judge my mess. But that stuff has to, I need to find homes for all of that stuff and get organized. But today I wanted to bring you a project. And what we're gonna do is use, it'd be great if I had it out for you, right? some crafters foam and we're gonna make some office accessories for my desk so I got this at the Dollar Tree um, I've used so far one sheet for what I'll show you but I have extra if I need it I have a ruler and a um, blade now if you're doing this with children scissors are fine I just happen to have a straight blade um, some foam core board. Now I've cut this down, but foam core board. Um, I did utilize some of this glue all, adhe fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed, which I've taken apart, a picture frame and any size frame will do. I just happen to think this is adorable. And I have some Scrabble letters, but again, any, any products will do. Oh, and I'm recycling a jar, right? How cool is that? So what we're gonna do is flip the camera around. I'm gonna need to measure this because I did forget to do that. And this will be for the second, second jar. So let me show you what we're creating and how I did it. So hang on one second. Okay, so I've got everything situated. The first thing we're gonna do is recycle this jar. This was a salad dressing jar. It's sticky on the outside, which is fine. I did run it. it. Smells good. I ran it to the dishwasher. So I'm only going to cover it up to here so I can put the lid on if I want, or I could put ribbon or rope around it or something. But I measured, and this jar measures up to where I want it to go at just shy of three and three quarters of an inch. So if you can see on my measure, so I'm going to mark, oh, I have some tea there. And this is not real fun to write on, but that's okay. I just need a pencil, I think. Do I have a pencil? How do I not have a pencil? All right, well, we won't use a pencil. We will use a, sharp, uh, a pen. It's fine, whatever we have. We'll make it work, guys. And then I'm gonna go down here from the bottom because that's how I measured it. And I'm just gonna go, oh, that's not gonna work. Let me grab a pencil. Okay, well the pencil's not gonna work either. So we'll use a little permanent marker, which is fine. So I'm just gonna measure here to the line I want it at, right? And then we're gonna come down here and measure it to the line that I want it at. And then we're gonna come down here and measure it. And if you do it in three different spots, it just makes it easier to lay out your ruler. Right? Give it a second to dry. And then I'm taking my straight edge. If you're using scissors, you can use scissors for sure. But if you are using scissors, just be careful. But with this straight edge, I can just, oops. It's very slippery on this side of the cork. So be super careful. Um, you can also do this on the cork side if you wanted to. And there, I cut it through. It was that simple. Um, to cut through the cork, right? Oops. So we have that done. But this one's a little messy down here, so let's clean it up. I'm hoping that this side, there we go. 
Okay, now what I want to do before I take the backing off is I'm gonna measure around where I want this to go. And you, I see exactly where it's gonna go because I want it to fit perfectly I just marked it with my pencil, which is right here. And then I want to transfer that line up to here. I'm going to see if I can show you where I wrote. Right there. And what that is is where it's going to meet up to be almost exact. And you can also measure this with a um, tape measure. Would not be a problem whatsoever. And then I'm going to cut this from the cork side, which I would recommend on either way, just cutting it from the cork side. The only difference is you have to go through it twice to get to that paper behind it. Or just flip it over. Or get your scissors out. It doesn't matter what you do. I'm trying to be like all fancy here because that's how I roll, right? Okay. Now, one more test fit. Do I like it? And does it fit? Well, it does not fit. Uh, well, that's okay. I cut it a little short. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna run a ribbon up it anyway, and I would just cover that with some ribbon. Or, I can recut it. Should I recut it? Yeah, we're going to recut it. All right, girls and boys. Let me try marking that again. I'm going to use a marker this time. There we go. See if I can get a better cut and a better fit. What is that? Measure once? No, measure twice, cut once. I think I failed at that, guys. We go and oops I feel like I'm cutting my no I just scarred a little bit okay there we go now let's hope for the best I'm still want to do a ribbon but oh there we go wasn't that perfect it'll be a little touchy I'm gonna take just a smidge a smidge off and I mean like the littlest of little smidges here off the end don't worry this is the only one I'm actually cutting I already did the other ones <laughs> there we go but that's how you can do it if you cut it a little bigger than you need you can always trim it back okay so that has been cut this has been cleaned. Now you can, I'm not going to, but you can put a little bit of this fix-all on the back before you attach it to the jar. I will tell you that this sticky stuff is pretty sticky. I mean, it's very sticky. But if you wanted to, you could just put a little of this, and I did for the other project, but I don't think this is gonna need it. But you see how it's, that is some serious stick, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And I want you to be able to see what I'm gonna do here. So I'll lay it down. And I want it even with the bottom, not so much with the top. And that's not, ooh, okay, well. Like I said, this stuff is sticky. You get one shot at getting that attached, kids. You get one shot at this. And mine failed. It's okay. I'll get it cleaned up. And then down here at the bottom where it's not quite straight, I'm going to just trim it off. Watching my fingers. I've already had stitches in my pinky once. 
right? Nobody needs more stitches. Not from this. I broke a glass and oh, I guess it would be from this. I broke a glass in my hand one time. And then I'm just going to clean up my bottom because nobody's perfect, you know, and we're all going to make little measuring errors and whatnot. But I just want it pretty. And I'm going to put ribbon on this um, to make it stick or ribbon on it to pretty it up so I'm not that concerned. But there is our jar right now. And I like how the cork stops, right, at the top. And I'm probably going to put pens and pencils in here, but I do want to heat up the glue gun whilst we are making the other projects. All right, got the black, or the glue gun heating up. I've got black ribbon that I'm going to measure real quick. I just want it to go around the tippity top and around the bottom. And this is okay if it overlaps. So we're gonna do two of the same length. Because how fun is this gonna be, guys? This is like recycled and cork. How fun. And this is just some grow game ribbon that I will pin. I just keep a pin or a rubber band around it, but I need the heat, the glue gun to heat up. All right, trash. Now, the next project I did, I've already started this, and I did use some adhesive, but we're making a coaster for my desk. So I glued these letters. Mine says brew, knit, pour, read. So all I did is I lifted up some of the sticky, and, that, and then I stuck my letters down with a little drop of this um, Fix All Adhesive because my cup might sweat on this and I wanted it to be um, sticky. But I'll show you in a second how I did it. Uh, but let's trim this up first. And you can make these for gifts. I just didn't, I don't know what I did with all of my, my letters for my Scrabble game. These are literally from a Scrabble game of mine. Um... But this stuff, let me tell you, this cork has a really, really good adhesive on it. And I'm cutting with my straight edge on a healable, self-healing mat. And now I'm just throwing stuff on the floor. Okay. So that is what I did. It took overnight to dry with the glue. But if you pull this back, and you just stick your letters on here in a nice neat row, or you can just put a little of that on it, then stick your letters in a nice neat row. And then you just cut it off when it's done, and they this, the glue kind of goes in between the letters. Um, I can seal this with some paint sealer or like Mod Podge, but I don't feel like it needs it. So we've made a coaster. Hey look, my jar can sit on my coaster. <laughs> I just love the natural kind of earthiness of the cork with the wood. Now, I did the same thing. I just cut a circle. I took my, if it's over here, I have a compass. Here it is. And I just decided how big I wanted it. Put it in the middle and made a circle. Is this a protractor or a compass? I feel like it's a compass. And then I cut it out. But I also cut out a piece of matching felt to stick to the back. And no glue. It just stuck to this felt. And now I have a cork mouse pad. And on this, you can take my, uh, paint pens and decorate it. I could put my name on here. I can do whatever I want. I kind of like it plain for now, but I might decorate it later but the paint markers would work on here. So I made a mouse, just cutting a circle. You can trace a bowl, you can trace a lid, you can use your protractor. What I like about these is if I cut a circle and it's a little big, I can just adjust this or, you know, and keep the same point and work your circles. 
So this was a cheap uh, back to school time. I think it was a dollar and I've gotten a lot of use out of that with crafting. So I did that. And again, all of this is just cut and stick because this is such good adhesive on the back. And while our glue gun, I don't think it's warmed up yet. Nope. So we're going to go on to the last project. And what I did is I took this frame and I'm taking the glass out and be very careful. This glass is extremely sharp. I'm going to put it in my trash can. And then you pull the back off. And this is my guide that I'm using to trace, right? My tracing guide. And I have a, a spare piece of this cork left over. But the first thing I did is I traced this onto the foam core board, right? There we go. Including your little corner notches. And I just took a pencil and traced it. And actually I didn't use the backing because that's a little larger. I used the piece of paper that goes inside. I wouldn't use the glass just because you can cut yourself. But I traced that onto this foam core and then I just took some scissors and trimmed the edges now I did use a straight edge to cut this if you don't you'll get like weird can you see here like weird cutting that's from the scissors if you use a straight edge or a razor it cuts it better but you do you now what I'm gonna do on this cork and I'm gonna do this on the front side so I can see, I'm lining it up in the corner so I only have two cuts to make, right? Taking my pencil, and I just want to outline it. Just trace it, nothing fancy. You just, oops, wanna make sure it's the same size. And you can cut this, I'll show you how I cut it with scissors, easier than this, the uh, blade. So if you see on my lines, I really only have to make those cuts. Let me get a better pair of scissors than the child scissors that I'm using. These are legit children's scissors. Now this is not, pa these are paper scissors, not fabric scissors. You always want to not use, if you're a sewer, you know that. But we're just cutting along this line and then I'm just going to trim my corners off. And there's a reason because of the frame, your corners need to be cut off right make sure it's the same same size and the next thing you want to make sure is that it goes into your frame appropriately and this frame is exactly not square just so you know um it does need a little trimming to get into the frame so i'll just literally just a little bit Okay, I'm lining it up, making sure I know which way is up. Because remember, one shot deal here. Now, to stick this and this with my one shot, and this is how I did it with the mouse pad as well. I start peeling, but I'm only peeling a little bit. Holding it down. This is sticky, guys, I'm not kidding. I have a cat snoring behind me and then I'm lining it up and pushing down so I have the top attached right you can do this too and then cut it after you're just gonna run into some issues with the cutting but it's lined up perfectly now I will pull this tape from underneath it and pull it push it down and I'm not getting any bubbles it is a little off kilter up here just do a little quick trim you see what I'm saying it will stick to your scissors and that's fine these are craft scissors I'm not worried about them okay the only other thing I need to do with this specific frame for this specific thickness of foam core is I'm pushing it down a little bit which will do two things it's gonna make the foam core a little thinner to fit in this frame better. And it's also gonna make sure that cork is sticking, right? So I'm down in my container because I want to put the back on it. 
and that I need to make sure that it does its thing. And then while pushing, because this is like I said, it's a little thick for this specific frame, but I want this frame. I want this frame. And it doesn't matter to me if the back is a little cattywampus, is that a word? I mean, I say that word, but I don't know if it's a real word. There we go. And you're just pushing it and turning. I'm pushing it down in there so that I can turn this clip um, and get it so it holds the back on. There we go. And one more. Oops. Now this one, I really got to give it a good push. There we go. And then I'm just going to push it and push it. There we go. Guys, this is adorable. Now I have some straight pins that I can push into the cork and it will go into the foam core behind it. If not, this cork is not thick enough for cork boards. But look, I can put a little tiny note in there and I will too. This is going on my desk. And then I can put like a note and just pin them on there. How adorable is that? This will work with any size frame. And if you need to, you can use more than one sheet. You would just have to have a seam. I don't need a seam for this. The other thing you could cork is a flower pot. I'm not going to because I'm actually gonna plant something in that one. But I have these things now. Do we think my hot glue is up and running? Let us see, shall we friends? Let us see. Get all this mess out of our way. I'll clean that up later. And what I want to do is start my glue right here at the low point. Yep, it's up and running. And then I do need to trim a little bit. I forgot the top. Needs to be straightened. And it doesn't have to be exact, but it's going to stick out if I don't. There we go. Look how <laughs> this stuff sticks, guys. I'm not, tell, I'm not kidding. There we go. And it will leave adhesive behind, so you just want to be careful. If it bothers you too much, use some Goo Gone, but it's not really going to bother me that much. You just make sure. Yep. And if it's a little, sticks out a little bit over the top, again, I'm okay with that. Just please be careful if you are using a blade like this. Now this one didn't come from the Dollar Tree, except, but I have bought one at the Dollar Tree. I just haven't got it out yet because I have one. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna take my glue and I wanna be as straight as I can with this. Right? And we're gonna go all the way around. Sorry, I had some sticky adhesive on me. And if you don't want to put the ooh, ribbon on it, you don't have to. I just like the ribbon and I think it kind of finishes everything up nicely. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm in a whole new workspace, guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to work on some lighting for over here, I think. There we go. And I'm going to, I don't need it quite as long as I cut it, but there we go. The top is done. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. How fun. Same thing. I'm just going to attach it right here well except for down here and I love that this stuff is so sticky that I don't have to use other adhesives with it like isn't that awesome there we go now we're just gonna go along the bottom really it's endless I would say that this cork would stick to pretty much any 
hard surface. And actually it's stuck to fabric. The only thing with the mouse pad is you're not gonna have a lot of like standing power, but I don't need that with a mouse pad if that makes sense. So, and then we're just gonna go around this corner. You just wanna hold everything real quick. And remember the Dollar Tree now is selling those rubber tips for your fingers if you can find them to keep yourself from getting burnt or for your kids. There we go. And what this does good too is if it won't fray because I overlapped it a little bit. But there we have it. A cork. I'm going to use this as a jar or I could use it to hold trinkets but I probably will use it as a pencil holder like to hold stuff so let me get this all set up on my desk and I will show you what I've done all right there's my cork board can I come over here is my coaster that holds a mug perfectly my pencil holder and a mouse pad that does work now, things like this are a little challenging because I have a glass top desk, but I'll put something sticky under it. Or, quite frankly, I could flip it. There we go. I'll flip it and use the um, that side and put the cork as the bottom. But those are all the things that I created for my desk. I hope you enjoyed.